is and was one of downtown's most popular landmarks, the Whale Mural on Broderick Tower. Since it was painted in 1997, over the years, it often gets covered by advertisements. And now you can help free the whales through the power of technology, even when the mural is covered. The artist who created the mural, Wyland, joins us now live to tell us more. And Wyland, uh, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. It is so great to see those whales once again. Such an iconic piece of uh, the last couple of decades of downtown for sure. Well, thank you, Ryan, and uh, aloha from uh, the North Shore of Oahu, where I am now at my studio. A little early, but, uh, you know, once again, the wall's being threatened by, you know, another technology, uh, a billboard, you know. It, it keeps getting threatened, and, you know, great art, you know, public art really identifies great cities have really amazing art, and Detroit's really in a renaissance period for that right now. This mural really started that uh, that mural uh, trend, and now we're seeing great art all over the city. There's a lot more walls to, uh, to you know, for artists to create on, but to, you know, blatantly, you know, try to cover up this mural, which is now a landmark, as you said, in Detroit, and, you know, one of my favorite murals, it's my hometown. I mean, I grew up, I was born and raised in Detroit. I went to the Center for Creative Studies uh, there, the University for Fine Art. Um, it's just, it's, it's shameful, and I hope the city will take the initiative just to start finding these companies that try to cover the wall with advertising, you know, find them $10,000 a day and they won't do it. Hey, Wyland, I know you tried to get this to the Supreme Court, I think in 2022, and uh, yep. did, did they, what was the result of that? Well, it was quite good to even get it there. You know, and the, the ironic thing is the city loves this mural, the, the, the you know, the, the, the city planners. Uh, I got so much support in Detroit, but there's a handful of greedy people that, you know, want to make money from advertising by disrespecting this wall. Now it's kind of a legal hocus pocus. Oh, well, you'll still be able to see it. Hey, um, if so, they did that to the spirit of Detroit or to Joe Lewis, you know, the fist, uh, well, you know. let me let me just because because I I, I, mean, sure. I could talk to you all day, but I do got about a, I do yeah. have about a minute left. I, I want to sure. let people know about this QR code. Tell me a little bit about how they can see the mural, even if it is covered up. How how, how can people see it now? Well, I, I would prefer that it not be covered up with a cure, uh, 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 you know, like a code or any type of signage. Uh, I don't care what the legal hocus pocus is. I think they ought to leave the wall pure. I mean, it'd be like, like I said, putting a, some type of advertising or a QR code over uh, the spirit of Detroit. That's not going to fly, you know. Great cities have great art, and Detroit's uh, getting more art. Now we need to protect it. We need to have our city stand strong with the community and say, hey, we want to protect these murals so that people can enjoy them for many years. Do you know the the, the app, the, the whale app, though, that, that uh, people now can go down there and, and download and see that we just got a little bit of a glimpse of it on our screen? Do you, okay. know about, do you know about that? Well, unfortunately, see, there's there's the wall being covered right there. Unfortunately, it's just another way creatively for people to make money and, and uh, obscure the original intent of, of the art, you know. You wouldn't put a scan code over to Mona Lisa. You know, yeah, okay, well, you can see this beautiful, you know, Leonardo, uh, but... You know, why not, why not, you know, protect uh, the purity of, of the art and the message, yeah. more importantly. Mine's about art and conservation, the connection between the Great Lakes and the ocean. That's why, why the whales why are in Detroit. I'm, I'm, I'm out of time, my friend. Thank you so much for the time. Uh, and okay. again, uh, what we're seeing now is an app uh, that you can kind of hold your phone up and, and see those whales. Uh, iconic part of downtown Detroit. We'll take a break. Come right back. More of the nine when we Thank return. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you.